Hi you guys, it's Yvonne. I am down in old Colorado City, Manitou Springs. It's on the edge of Colorado Springs. Let me turn the camera around. So, it's hard to see from here, but let me come out. The traffic's going to be crazy. And I'm going to zoom in. But there's about a two-mile strip. There's about a two-mile strip here where it's nothing but like tourist attractions. It's called Old Colorado City, and then right after that comes a bunch of hotels, camping sites, and into Manitou Springs, and then on up into the mountains. So they're kind of tourist attractions, lots of shops, lots of events. That's one of the areas where they'll have events right there, that park. We'll have flea markets um, with food trucks, and they'll have Pioneer Days. This whole street will be blocked off. And then on up a ways again, you can see it's heading up into the mountains. Let me come in. Going into Manitou Springs, there'll be a trolley that will run to take tourists around. So someday we'll come and shop this, but the reason I haven't yet is because it's mostly tourist shops. There aren't a lot of antique stores there. But when they have this flea market, let me zoom back out. But when they have that flea market in that big park area, that's a lot of fun. And uh, when they have the fireworks in Manitou. So I had to go down to Manitou to get a special Christmas gift for my husband. So I'm taking the long way back and I am at the Goodwill. And they have a little tiny store over there. It's a small store, but I always find something. So I just wanted to show you a little bit of this town before I walked down there. They're doing construction on this side of the sidewalk where there are some cute little stores that are usually in there. So I don't know what's going to pop in there now. It looks like uh, one of those co-op workspaces. Those are all, all the rage lately, especially in the bigger towns. And it looks like a CrossFit. But real, let me zoom in. <laughs> let me zoom in. Right there is an old school Goodwill. You can see the old school sign. I'll show you in a minute. Let me get up there. So this big long building that I'm walking by, this is where they do their training and rehabilitation. It's not their e-commerce. That's over on the other side of town. And someday I'm going to try to see if we can go in there like Recycled Life did, but I doubt it because I don't think that ended very well for some people at Goodwill. Anyways, here, I'm slowly, slowly. So there's an old school Goodwill. That one's been here forever. And you can see the old school sign. Let me zoom in on that sign. <laughs> Across the street, there's their old school sign. And uh, we'll go in in a minute. Let me turn around slowly. Yeah, this big, I don't know if you can see with the sun. Let me, let me block it. That big, long building used to be on this side of the street. So now it's little stores that they're working on. And uh, that's where they do a lot of rehab work. And you can see, let me block the sun. See the mountains in the background, very beautiful. I'm on the edge of town, so heading into the mountains. All right, let's go in. Okay, so I'm inside. So this is really a small one, you guys. Let me turn the camera around. This is a small one, but that doesn't mean anything. I have found some good things out of here. Let me turn the camera around. I'll show you how small it is, but don't underestimate it. Let me come up a little bit. and I'll... So, <laughs> as you can see, not very big at all. About the size of like a boutique or something. But they keep it packed and organized, and um, I usually find something. So let's get started. Hi, hi. So I'm just working my way back to collectibles and house goods, but I'm looking at the rounder tops as I'm going. It's mostly Christmas stuff, but still checking the rounder tops as I'm going. And when I see something interesting in clothing, I did. I am going to get these for myself. This isn't a bad name. Tech gear. It's not a bad name. They're still nice and new. There's two of them. They're only $5. I'm going to get this for myself. But I found these. This is a little out of my wheelhouse. 
about 30% off. Four times three is 12, so like a dollar 20 off. And look, there's two of them. Two of them, different shaped. Nice with the grapes, right? And this one is kind of octagon, maybe? Upside down, hang on. I think that would be, I think that's pretty for my first try on something like this. I'm super picky about that kind of stuff, but I think that will do well. And I'm just working my way. I'm going to do purses and then, you know, get back to collectibles, but I might as well look at clothing. I want to talk about this kind of stuff. Let me back up. These kind of 90s, 80s, 90s, let me come in close. This one's silk. This one's really, this one's really super decorated front and back. Um, these will still sell. That's a Nolan Miller. These will still sell. They're not super vintage. But they're getting more so every day. I think this is an Albert and the Pawn. And this is an Albert and the Pawn evening. Gold metallic. Actually, brocade. Look at that. Yeah. Um, they're about $10 to $14, not on sale. But do you know who I sell most of this to besides vintage? Especially this kind of little jacket set. Overseas. Asian overseas. Yes especially if it's silk so that one's really cute that one's nicely tailored let me hang it up that one's really cute nicely tailored tapered in three-piece set actually has a shell skirt and the jacket might get this one anyways just thought we'd chat about that for a minute I made it back to the hard goods. I did not add any clothing. Oh, this looks exciting already. This ashtray. Oh. Advertising piece. <laughs> oh, 99 for that lead crystal chunk. $3.99. Snow baby looking. I don't even know why I picked it up because even if it was a snow baby, I don't want it. <laughs> that looks vintage. <laughs> don't get it twisted. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hand painted glass piece, dollar twenty nine. I like that. I'm gonna set you there. That's a maybe. Let's see what this is. I got a feeling it's gonna be modern, but it could be. It's got Frank Oma colors and kind of Hager feel to it. What do you guys think? Okay, I grabbed a couple things. I had to turn it off. It was a loud song. But this is Christmas music, and I don't think it became copyrighted now, this song. There's no signature on this, but it's a nice bisque, and I just like it. And it's going to be half price. I'm going to get that. And this is not a Brad Keeler or anything. Somebody, just hobby piece, 1972. 30% off So a couple bucks I'm gonna get that this kind of stuff sells well Lobster stuff for some reason now this is a Capa de Monte it says so and made in Italy Only one small chip on the flower, but I think it's missing its top should probably still get it for a planter. 
I don't think it's the most epic I've seen. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, there's another crack. Okay, we'll pass on that. This looks like blue sky or... Oh, sealed with a kiss. How much? We better check that out. Sealed with a kiss. We're going to check that out. So do something. Just sit there for a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even show you. Vintage lighter. Just sit there for a minute. I think I want you... Oh, somebody made a nesting hen themselves. Oh no, it's signed. Pottery craft. How much is it? $3.99? Yeah, I'll get that. I'm not big on nesting hens, but that price, yes. New. Gotta check stuff like this. You never know when it's new or one of the older artist vintage pieces. Japanese train. Oh, some black amethyst. I've been collecting all this. 30% off. I don't like this one though. I don't care for that one. I want someone else have it. German bell. Not really cut glass, it's kind of molded. It's got a little resale value. I'm not going to do it, but it's got some resale value. Hawaiian sand fleas. I have a friend that moved to Hawaii. I guess she would understand that. <laughs> right? He wants to be an astronaut. I like that. Let's see. Future dreams. Going to be an astronaut. $19.99. I like this. Half price. I think I'm going to get that and try that. Somewhat vintage. It's only going to be, what, $3? I'm going to skip ahead, hang on, because this matches the other one. This matches that. So, did I miss anything good? <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not going to get these. Now that's three of them. Okay, now I'm leaning towards Dollar Tree and Big Lots with no marking and three of them. Okay, I might put those back. I did decide to put those back. Um, making me nervous when there's that many of them in one place. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Usually, I sold so many of these in the 90s, but I would try to buy them with the, um, they're, they're exercise your hands. And they make a little noise. I would try to buy them with the enamel closing A. They sold better that way. guilt <laughs> yeah no i'm not encouraging anybody to feel that way made in china some glass pieces i don't want to set it on top of that glass peppers mushrooms and a troll Elf, and you are a bank. What are you made out of? Metal, it sounds like. No, P clay. How much are you? One ninety-nine and a third off. <laughs> I, just, I just don't know. The mushrooms say yes, but <sighs> Florida, vintage Florida. Oh, I like these little things. These little sugar-coated pictures. $1.99 for Jesus. There it is. I knew I saw something. Easy, easy, easy. Something else that somebody made. I want to look at this. I want to look at this. I'll be right back. You guys look at some stuff. I'm sure some stuff has some resale value, but you know. You know, we all sell what we think we like. Something Germany. That looks like a blue sky piece, but I know there's a knockoff, especially at Big Lots. Teddy bear shop. Popular 2001. It's not a blue sky, but it looks like it.
Oh, hang on. I almost missed it. Hang on. I have a feeling. Spidey senses. Uh-oh. Is that a glass jade tree back there? Yes, it is. Hang on. I'll be right back. Let me get it out. Okay, I got it out. Now, the bottom base has some issues. But the rest of it's fine. This size is probably about $30, $40. I think I'll get that. It's $10, though. So I'm going to hope to get about $40. I think I'll get it though. Check in all this stuff. This, all this hot mess, all of it was in here. This nice signed Raku vase for $5.99 that I will be buying. <laughs> These are Windy Meadows. Some have better resale value than others. I don't think you're going to be able to read that. But it looks something like that. And they're nicely done. Let me come in close. See, they're nicely done little houses, and this one's chipped. There's a couple more down here. I'm not going to get them, but those have a little resale value. Again, some, depending on which kind of house or business it is. All right, we're going to move on to the next row. Okay, end caps are Christmas. There weren't any mugs that I wanted, so I'm working my way down to vases cross your fingers oh wait what's this lisa frank not super vintage but how much are you dollar 99 yeah you are not the super vintage lisa frank but we will still get you don't know what all is going to be happening there all right here we go This looks like part of a lamp. Alright, part of a lamp. Frog, votive. Nothing yet. I haven't given up hope though. <laughs> Some milk glass. The quality looks a little better. Let's see whose milk glass this is. Okay, I don't know who's that whose that is. Um just the milk glass has a little bit different quality to it. Could you see? Just prettier than your cheaper milk glass. $1.99 actually i'll get that for only a dollar it's gonna be half price isn't that pretty so let's get that yay at least two vases still got a little bit of space to left to look these are cool these modern things 6.99 those are kind of cool <laughs> I had a thought, but never mind. <laughs> this is from Kohl's. Uh, is that, hang on, is that that optical? Hang on, gotta be careful, it's thin. Is that that optical, like, Empoli? It's so thin and delicate. I feel like that's that. Jocelyn, the lamp lady, buys a lot of this stuff. I don't have a piece of my collection. How much is it? $1.99? It sure does have some bad hard water stains, though. I think I'll wait for a better piece. I, I do. I think I'll wait. Alright, last chance here. Let's see. Oh, well, what's this? Okay. Hang on. I'm going to get that out. Hang on. Okay, I got it out. It looks somewhat modern, like um, recycled glass. It's kind of what that looks like. $4.99 and a third off, so $1.50 off. 
Let me just double check for a signature, but I don't see anything, you guys. I think that's just like some recycled glass. It's pretty though. If it was a little more colorful, a little more clean on the bottom, and a little cheaper. I would be tempted to get it. It's pretty thin too, but it could go in the booth. Wait, I saw something else. Okay, oh like, here. Put these, see these two milk glasses together? See the difference in the quality I'm talking about with this one? Yeah, way different quality, huh? And this one's tempting. Let me pull it out, okay? Let me pull this out carefully. It would be half price too. It's $4.99, it'd be $2.50. But you see the kind of like low leak looking applique etched and then that applique. I might get this for $2.50. I should get it, right? Yes, okay. Oh, that's heavy too. <laughs> Alright, let me check the edges on all of this. But even if this one's got a flea bite or something, that's I'm almost sure that's Fostoria and I want that. Yeah, I'll get that for $2.50. Okay, so we've done pretty well. So, that was the that was it. I'll check the clothing, you know, by myself, you guys. If I find something really great, I'll come in and show you. But it's almost dark, so... Like I said, this is just kind of a smaller market, so... Uh, I should probably get that, right? If it was a little cheaper, I would. This is a smaller Goodwill, but I had a good time. Okay, well I did it. It's almost dark now, but we did it. And there's everything. I spent $81 total. I did add two shirts for myself. So, that was a great time. Look, the moon's coming out. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later, okay? Happy holidays. Just me on the way home. <laughs> I thought I'd show you this nice little house. I haven't gone driving around yet to look at Christmas um, decorations, but that's a nice one. All right, headed home.